If your sourdough starter isn't rising, as in it's not doubling in size at all after you feed it, here's how you fix it. I'm actually gonna tell you two ways you can fix it. If you've baked bread with your sourdough starter before and it's worked fine, this method is for you. Sometimes people say their starter's going well, it's doubling in size, it's falling back down again, and then all of a sudden it just stops working for some reason. If that's your case, what you need to do is reset your starter. Honestly, you probably have too much sourdough starter in your jar that it's not getting enough food to be able to grow and actually double in size after you feed it. So what you need to do is take 25 grams, just about a tablespoon of your starter, put it in a new jar and get rid of the rest of the starter. You don't have to throw it away. You don't have to waste it. You can put it in a sourdough discard recipe. You can do whatever you want with it. But you're gonna take the 25 grams of starter in the new jar and feed that 50 grams of flour and 50 grams of water. Whole grain rye flour or whole grain wheat flour will work best since you're trying to refresh your starter and get it back active and thriving again. When you do this feeding, put a rubber band or something to mark the top of the starter and you're just gonna wait. You might have to wait longer than you'd expect. Wait a full 24 hours to see if the starter rises. If you keep waiting, it probably will rise. If I had to guess, I bet if you're in this situation, you just have a large jar of starter and you're feeding it like 50 grams of water, 50 grams of flour, and it's not rising much or it's just kind of sluggish or something like that. There's probably just too much starter and not enough food for it to eat and actually grow. So cutting down the starter to 25 grams and feeding it 50 grams of water, 50 grams of flour, that's gonna give your starter plenty of food to eat and the yeasts are gonna make that starter bubble up and rise. And within 24 hours, I bet you see the starter double in size. Even if you have to wait longer than 24 hours, that's okay. One time I let my starter starter go in the fridge for about three weeks and for whatever reason it was just slow and sluggish and I thought it was not going to rise again. But I did this, I gave it a fresh feeding and it took about 30 to maybe 40 hours and finally I saw it slowly double in size. So even if you have to wait 48 hours for it to double, just go for it. Once it finally doubles, get rid of everything in the jar except 25 grams of starter again and do this one more time. Feed it 50 grams of flour, 50 grams of water, and wait for it to double again. It'll probably double a lot faster this time. Now, maybe your starter has never ever doubled in size. Be honest with yourself. If you're creating a new starter, maybe you've tried to make one from scratch and it's never actually doubled in size before, then you haven't really created an active starter yet you're still in that process of making a new starter, and that's okay. But be honest with yourself here, if you've never seen it double in size, your starter's not dead, you just haven't created an active sourdough starter yet. And bubbles don't count. Sometimes you can see bubbles in your starter while you're making a new one, but that doesn't mean that it's an active starter yet. The yeast needs to get really active in there to create enough gas to actually get the starter to double. If you just see some bubbles, that doesn't mean your starter's ready to bake with. That just means it's on the way to getting ready to bake with. So if you've been making a new starter from scratch, it's never actually doubled in size yet. You need to follow a plan to get your starter from day zero, basically till day six or seven or eight when you have an active sourdough starter on your hands. Thankfully, it's not actually that hard to go from flour and water to sourdough starter. For me, it usually takes about six, seven or eight days to get a sourdough starter going from scratch. If you wanna make your own sourdough starter from scratch following my method, go ahead and follow the video tutorial right here or click the link in the description and I've got a free sourdough starter guide that you can download and follow day by day, step by step as I show you how to make your own sourdough starter. I'll see you in the next video. I just said sourdough starter like 800 times in that video. It's like four minutes long.